when you're attacked, the temptation is to attack back. But how does it feel in your own head when you are researching and writing this book? It's, it's confusing because when you go out in the world and talk about these things, they don't have that binary conversation. They have a very sophisticated sense of what the British Empire did because they lived through it. But when you're over here, because we're disconnected, because empire didn't really happen in Britain, we have this very basic view and basic way of talking about it. And so actually, when you're outside in the world, it's, it's, it's not a problem. It's a problem when you're back here. And it's a problem when you're attacked. Mm. So when people have a go at me for slagging off the British or being mean about British history, and the other way, and so the left sometimes have a go at me for not being harsh enough about British imperialism, when you're attacked, the temptation is to attack back and to answer with something binary. But if you reply saying, actually, it's really complicated, you should read these three books. Um, that's quite unusual, but increasingly we need to do that, I think. And how do you cope with those attacks? You know what? It depends on the day. You're probably a bit like this as well, aren't you? Some days I get racially abusive letters and I find them funny. Right? And I'll post them on Twitter and have a good laugh. Sometimes it scares me. Yeah, and sometimes you call the police, you know, and I'm not the only person getting this stuff. You know, David Olusoga, it's a matter of record, he's a bodyguard. Uh, Professor Corrine Fowler, who wrote the colonialism report for the National Trust and was then, you know, targeted by the common sense group of Tory MPs and right-wing newspapers. She had to call the police several times, couldn't walk alone. You know, there's a well-funded, relentless government-endorsed campaign against imperial historians for people offering nuance and new takes. And the thing is, history is argument. Also, history changes. This is what a lot of people don't understand. It's not like a, a Jenga tower that's going to it's going to fall if you change it. History changes all the time. Our understanding of the Romans is changing all the time. Our understanding of the Bronze Age is changing. And our understanding of imperial history is absolutely changing, in part because I've realized whilst researching this book is that a lot of information was repressed at the time. A lot of the evidence was destroyed. You know, there was said to be a pool of smoke over Delhi when we left because of all the documents being destroyed. The, the, the men who set up Nigeria famously burnt all the documents. So it's inevitable that the history is going to change. Thanks for tuning in. And if you found this video enjoyable, be sure to check out the full episode on your preferred podcast platform. And make sure you're following How to Fail on social media for additional content and updates.